Hey guys, I'm sorry for the poor lighting. It isn't to my intention for this to happen. I'm currently watching a YouTuber streamer clips and little vods of little clips in a streamer called LTG, Low Tier God. And it's making me think to myself, like, holy shit. I do not want to become a failure. Like, we don't even know this. I don't, I don't want to start on him yet, but I was explain to you my, my emotions going into this and why I feel these emotions. So, I'm trying to structure it and guys like controversial and, in my opinion, and I think rightfully so, insane individuals such as LTG or John Zerka, these type of guys who are literally fucking insane. Like, I mean, the reason why they've been on the internet for so long and they haven't been successful, they haven't been. I would say this entirely, entirely. That's not a good impression of people, but it's weird. Like these people are just batshit crazy. The reason why they're not popular, they're not viral, they're not thing, because they're failures. And if they were to do anything else, it would be immensely, immensely. How do I say this? Difficult for them, as is difficult for everyone else. Like I, I literally watched DG, uh, LTG and like fuck up his entire thing career and like you know he wants the acting career wife kids doesn't have any of that he's 40 effectively at this point I wish him the best like even though he's mentally fucked up sociopath perhaps sociopath narcissist or whatever it is and he tries to fix up now of course but the thoughts still remain on his mind it's crazy because like he's the type of guy who was like a geek before and he was a nerd, but he didn't find like the right path, in my opinion. He stuck to the video games. He stuck to the thing. He started working out, yeah, sure, but you know, it's not just working out. It's more than that. Working out is just a baseline of having discipline. I think going and doing martial arts in a boxing gym was so much more than just working out because not only do you have that hard work ethic uh, aspect, you also have some place to appropriately vent out your anger and appropriately. Have you know, put your emotion towards something positive that could you know, help you in your life. With this, I thought to myself, like, holy shit, like, seeing this guy fail and everything, it's all self-induced. It's all his fault. He didn't have to see those horrible things. Racist, demoralizing. Destructive. Like, I literally got up. I was, try I, was really, I was trying to sleep, like, fucking... I don't know what I'm saying. I was trying to sleep like just with my undies on, just like naked, so I could feel like the comfort of my my bed. But when I watch LTG, like I want to be a more proper person. I want to be a more organized person. I want to be a more disciplined, calculated person. Because LTG is such a fuck up, and I don't want to be like him. And it's his fault. He's a fuck up. He knows he's fucked up. That is mentally insane, man. John too, Zucker, mentally insane. These guys are barely holding it together, barely holding it together by a thread. And perhaps they get the worldly desires that many young men would want: money, woman, fame. At a certain level, it does not satisfy you more than that. Sometimes you just want a family, kids, you might pay the bills. And other medium things everyone else is doing a moment. That isn't me promoting entirely like a Monday life. I don't I don't have a guy. Well I wonder you are here. I want to be rich, I want to be powerful, I want to be in strong shape. I wanna have I wanna have at least one person I can go to a girlfriend, a girlfriend. I can just like truly have as a friend appreciate. A relationship. I don't want to. I don't want to have what LTG had, which is just pain and suffering. You, know, you can tell a lot by seeing a man in his eyes. I know bad for him, but it is his fault. You can tell a lot by seeing a man in his eyes. You can tell a lot, a lot. His eyes are full of pain. So with all these streamers, they might be multi-millionaire than some, but. Their eyes are full of pain, like shot, fried. 
not complete. I, mean, I tried to sleep um, half naked and then after that I said no, I'm gonna wear my clothes. I'm gonna shave my facial hair. I'm gonna keep exercising and I'm gonna try to fix my life in all every all and every aspect I'm gonna play out the video games. Cause I don't wanna be like LTG. And it says I can click this video and say LTG help me. Ethergy helped me so much. I think such an insane idiot. Now, I'm not even hating on him. It's true. I think it, this is like that he would admit himself. It's like a warrior, worrisome thing. Like it's not like some fucking hit piece video. Hit piece. You can take you can take it out how it is if you watch this video. By chance it blows up. It's just like worrying, man. Dale, what are you doing with your life? God, man. And like it was a reflection almost on myself and what I could have been. Just saying random fucked up shit on the internet and hope someone will give me money. That's, I think everyone, like Joker, right? Everyone is like a few bad days from going haywire and doing stupid shit. Tomorrow I want to go on a run and I'm going to try to get my cardio up, rock set. After that, I'm probably going to be editing all day my YouTube videos. Stick to that. I'm going to try to leverage everything, read books, develop social media, social skills, how to win friends with these people. I had the book. I just need to read it. Many books to read them. I spent 20 plus hours playing video games. I'll make the truth. It was a stupid decision. And at the end of it, like I don't even like Warframe anymore and at the end of it I don't even like Apex anymore either I'm gold 2 on Apex there is a slight chance of me returning but the more I play like the less I genuinely want to play the less in tune I feel with my life because I'm like I'm slipping out of control of my life. And, like some people are like fair enough, yeah, whatever you're doing for content. And other people are, like, didn't you quit PS4? Like I say like with some cult rap rationalization, oh yeah, when I'm 18 I'll quit. Which is in 45 isn't it 45, it's like 44, 43 days. <laughs> Who knows if I even quit then? <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a hard time breaking my nose. Just a worrisome thing. Like if LTG didn't play video games and he spent the last twenty years trying to do something else, like start a business, provide value to the community, and after he's already rich, he has his controversial takes like Mr. Top G. Then okay, he would have been okay, but he's begging for money. Still streaming every single day as a forty-year-old. Like what then? 50, 60, 70, still streaming, like what, what is this career choice, and it's all self-induced, and I can't even like, a lot of people hate on him for it, but I think hate is a very, very strong emotion, I, we should only regard for those that have truly, truly wronged us, I don't think LTG has wronged me at all, I think LTG is benefiting me the most, because I actually want to fix my life now because of him, he's so down bad, he's such a loser, He's such a weirdo. I'm happy that he's a loser, such a weirdo. I'm not offended in the slightest. Because people usually protect when they send hate. I'm not hateful. I'm happy. Because now I can use this to leverage this to fix my fucking life, man. Jeez, man. And I, I, I honestly, yeah, in my dead honest opinion, I don't hate LTG. I wish the best for him, but it won't come to him with his choices. It will not come to him at all. You don't need to send hate to these type of people that are like this. You don't need to send hate to them. Hate will come. They're attracted with their behavior, personality, their actions. My phone's right here, so I'm looking at the screen. 
John Zerker too, like the way he sees the world like, with the black pill thing. Black pillars are all stupid. Red pillars are all stupid. Despite the red pill being in large part the truth, it is still stupid in some aspects. And the blue pill is equally as stupid. They're all stupid. All the pills are stupid. As a person, like I love Top G, I love Myron, love Fresh, love Belmar, Belmar, you know him. I love these guys, Justin Waller. But the red pill, all this other stuff is absolutely and utterly stupid. Even even Top G says it like the red pill that we. Going around sleeping, having a bunch of women you barely know, and you sleep with them, and like that. You, you just had them like across the rotation, holes on rotation, you constantly sleep with for physical pleasure. Or not really having kids, you know, for sex and stuff like that. I think, I think that's completely stupid. It's stupid. Like, I want to have kids one day. Thank you, LTG. Thank you for the constant war. Everywhere I go, see about this man. Everywhere I go, this man, there's a war about him. I feel like they should just keep him unbanned so you can, you can make money off of him. Because <laughs> he's this amazing source of controversy. And everything he does is crazy. I, he's crazy. He's insane. You know, I saw one comment. Someone told me, like, wait, the routine you go through, the mom jokes, the BBC jokes, the Matrix juice jokes. And then, like, I just watched a random clip of him. He went through all of it step by step by step by step. My mom, BBC, Matrix juice. Insane. Yeah, you need a next level of creativity to make that level of insult. And just like, oh. It's all bad, at least. It's too much. Like, I want, I want, I'm reaching a standstill in my life where, as a young man, like, I want to be that disciplined individual. I want to be the hardworking individual, that entrepreneurial individual, that multi-millionaire who's in his 20s. I don't want to be in my 20s playing video games. I don't want to be that guy who's Spending all his time grinding away in the, in the next FGC fighting game community. Game that's popular, I don't know. Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z universe, that's not true. There's another Dragon Ball game. Dragon Ball, um, I don't know. I don't want to be one of those guys anymore. Because I am, and my actions have shown that I am one of those individuals. Because like the trajectory I'm going with the video games, with the distractions, with the I'm just content creating, like it's so down. I cannot explain to you enough. Like anyone who defends fervently video games is stupid in my opinion. Like I like video games. I grew up playing video games, but I regret it so much. All that time I can spend video games. If I spend it doing something else, like a skill like playing piano, for example, even a skill like that. Reading books, starting my business, etc. etc. I say this all the time, and people can be delusional. But if I was seven years old, starting my first business, bro, I would be a multi millionaire by now because I'm gonna have 10 years in the game. And I don't think I'm delusional, but no, it's not delusional, it's all relative to how long you've been doing it. People would see me as a glance, oh, Yo, he's an 18 year old millionaire. No, he has 10 years in the game. He's not an 18 year old millionaire, he's a, a, a young entrepreneur with 10 years of entrepreneurial experience. I want to be one of those guys you see on YouTube. Not who I am now. It's fucking, it's 1.30, 1.43 a.m. in the morning. I'm speaking to a camera about how LTG has motivated me to change my life. Like, LTG is living proof of the danger of video games. And when I come on here and tell you, like, don't play video games. Face reality for what it is. No matter how uncomfortable it is, please face reality. It's, it's tough. It is tough out here. You come home from your shitty job. 
you're like, oh, what do I do? Oh, I don't want to do anything. You want to escape, you want to relax, you want to do this, you want to watch a movie, you want to play the next new video game. You think uh, you'll be enjoyed by it. But no, it isn't enjoyable. It's stimulating. It's a difference. It is not fun. It is stimulating. Video games, porn, and social media, all these type of things are equivalent to psychedelics, substance, substances. You know, Dr. K says the best, like, porn is equivalent to substances, especially how stimulating it comes to your brain. I believe video games and social media are similar as well, as in all girls these days are hooked on social media. I mean, the, that's not true. I'm not honest with you. The majority of young girls are incredibly en enamored and in how do I say, I say endeavoured, it doesn't make sense, enamoured in social media, I mean, an incredibly large amount of young boys and young men and perhaps even older men, I, mean, I know guys that are 35-40 like, still playing video games like losers, they are playing video games and being losers and I think girls that spend all the time on social media as losers as well, Snapchat, like if you're over 18 and you have Snapchat, you are a child, like what the fuck is wrong with you, Snapchat is, a, is a, an app for children. Even though that's not a good thing, because Snapchat is perhaps a very, very provocative and quite... I might not get that point. I don't even want to say the things. I might put that as a separate video story. Porn. Very dangerous. Captivates the entire generation of people. Leads to people having pointless sex. Put his kids on his emotions and want to manage each other. There's such a morality in the modern West. It's the most destructive thing ever. Ever. You know, despite me wanting, like, in my kids in the future. Let me wanting my kids in the future to grow up in a safe, stable, safe, stable society. He's English and he's well educated, etc., etc. Like England and a lot of other countries that are English speaking are seldom choices. It comes with this idea of, yeah, I want to raise my kids here. In layman's terms, no country is really, really worth it for a of kids that is English speaking. And like, I think to myself, where, where would I go about raising my kids in a sense? This is what LTG is doing to me. Because he has zero kids, because he's 40, because he's such a fucking failure, I'm literally reiterating everything that's going in my head. Like, oh my god. I really gotta get my shit together. I gotta think about what my kids are gonna go in the future. I gotta think about income. I gotta think about this. I gotta think about that. Like we all could have been like LTG. You, you, we all have had that one big for a game of rage moment. We've all had that one big, you know, holy shit, I shouldn't have probably said that moment. We've all had that type of scenario. Like, we're all one bad day away from being LTG. And I've seen that he's changed a lot since then, but it was fake. Everyone knows he's holding himself back. It was fake. Because it's, it's crazy. I wish him the best. You know, I always probably what my my wish is to be doing me like, oh, this guy's a bitch. The mom, that that the old stuff come out. Might be like, please ban him from chat, guys. Please, he's in my chat right now. I beg you, watching. Please ban him. My wish is to be the best still. A good day as we'll come on to you. You shouldn't have bad actions. Which is wise as fuck. Good news, no come on to you if you have bad actions. Not even you have a quote. There's completely nothing true in life. Then I'm trying to think about it more like what am I gonna do tomorrow? Like right now the most productive thing I can do after this video ends is sleep. What am I gonna do tomorrow the day after? Good ask question.
my wisdom teeth, I can feel it growing now. My wisdom expanding. Is that is that a real thing? I feel like I'm genuinely becoming a bit more alert. More intelligent. I'm gonna sit in his shoes and understand him. Like some of his takes I agree with and then he goes insane, batshit crazy with it. I'm like If you're asking for a final version, I don't support LTG. I'll probably forget about him in a week or a month and then move on with my life. But I don't think I'll forget this feeling of holy shit, I need to fix my life. I don't support LTG in any aspect. I don't really like him in any aspect. He's a weird person. I feel sorry for him. And as he picks up, pieces from a failed streaming career, failed this career for that career, I kind of just, kind of just want I don't want to say this, but you'll pass away without ever meeting any of his dreams on his current trajectory. I don't know how to feel about him. It's quite a polarizing individual. But there's one thing for sure that he definitely helped me. You know how fucked up he is. I'm trying to make me like, oh, you should get my life together. Be more of a straight individual. I don't like school that much, but fuck it, man. I'll go back in time. Probably would still turn in school, and after that, I can always get my traineeship. Or after, and after that, apprenticeship, job, probably stable job, and be working my business on the side as well. But on the way, obviously, in college, if I've given the opportunity, I would be fucking spamming my business like crazy. Spamming. You know how you have like a basic attack in a game? My basic attack would be selling one item and I'll be spamming that basic attack all day. Studying in school, I'll be balancing that, I'll be scheduling, I'll be doing this, I'll be doing that, super focused. All because of one dude, one dude making mob jokes, fuck up his life. And Career, his dreams, his hopes, his true desires. It's a valuable lesson to learn. You know, smart men learn from the mistakes, wise men learn from the mistakes of others. Learn from his mistake. Learn from it. You only really have one life. Perhaps if you're reincarnated, you get another life, right? But who knows, you're going to keep the memories. If there is a heaven or hell, perhaps there is no freedom to be able like here. And perhaps there is no opportunity after 10,000 years I got reincarnated into another world and I'm a man world protagonist. Perhaps that's not a real thing or in hell you just can't survive. Everyone else is just too strong or some shit and always constantly fighting some stupid shit like that. I don't know. I don't know what hell is like. I was still partying, so I'll close my window. I think I'll catch you guys in the next video. So I get less, save my brain, I'm just get my brain. Insane. You know, I think LTG is proof of one of the darkest times of our life coming. I think Hamlet touched us before, but as social media porn and video games, the three big vices of young men in this modern day. 
and perhaps young women as well. Video games is very, very popular in young women these days. These vices. The fact that a person, LTG, can spend 20 years, 10, well, 10 years, realistically the last 10 years of his life locked in his house, streaming to people that don't really like him, mocking him, in front of him, begging for money, effectively, playing video games he hates. For the fact that that entire paradigm can exist, Incredibly, incredibly heartbreaking. And you might be like, oh yeah, you're, you're projecting because you're sending hate his way in. No, it's not hate. I don't hate LTG. Like I said before, as I previously stated. And I am kind of projecting, I'll be honest with you. Because I could end up just like him. And so could you. And so could everyone else. Think about that time where your mother would shout, scold you for being addicted to social media, video games and stuff. Why does that not really happen anymore? Because she's addicted to because everyone is addicted. Everyone has short and it's bad. <laughs> everyone is hooked on the same drugs. And I, I mean, yeah, I, I am too, at some points. I watch a lot of YouTube. I cut down by a lot. But I had a good moment where I was just watching 10 minutes a day. I was religiously following that. I was quite happy during that time as well. I don't know why I started watching more recently. I wasn't watching on my laptop or my computer or nothing. I just watched 10 minutes a day on my phone. I don't really want to watch YouTube or else. Maybe I'll go on binges on my computer. I have not installed the time track on my computer. But that was what I was doing. I was spending my time reading or something. Or like trying to create content videos. I'm not crying, I'm just, I'm itchy, I'm joking, I'm not crying, it's just, it's sad, like, how can you not help be sad for an individual that fucks up that much, and like, when you, once you realise kind of it's too late, it's like those, those videos, which I, I kind of, I kind of hate, but also, like, hate, <laughs> I'm joking, I don't, I don't like them at all, like, it's like, when women hit the wall, and they're like, I'm 30, and the woman like, I'm 36 and there ain't no good man left, and, yeah, why does everyone want to hook up, yeah, that's one of my spit there, that's the harsh, brutal words, I feel sorry for them, like how, like, what happened to being just a normal, empathetic human, that understands the pains of others, and it's true, yeah, you made a mistake. It's true. And we're so far apart in age, I probably can't date you. That's true. Guys, your age group are dating girls that are younger. Well, not dating at all, but they're celibate. Or you're not looking at them because they're geeks. Type of paradigm. And... And like your 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 thirty and half your eggs are gone and you're past it. Ability to have children is incredibly very low and it's difficult. It's tough. It's tough in every aspect you can possibly imagine. It's tough. I don't know if you can just like fucking Genghis Khan it or some shit. I, I'm not sure about this. I don't know what the right way to go about life is, and I want to have the like, you know, the right way. And each step, I can look back and make sure, like, yeah, I made the right decision at that time. In my life so far, no, I have not made the right decision every single time, at that time. 
even like just going down to normal commercial school, I don't think was the right decision completely. Even when like choosing to read the books that I read, I was a stupid kid, yes, but it wasn't the right decision at the time. Like I would rather read Artemis Fowl than think to myself, oh shit, mum isn't the richest person and I've seen her worry for bills and stress about that type of thing sometimes. It is a good idea in order to try to make more money. How can I make more money? That's it. That's it. That simple thought at a young age could potentially be the difference between a multi-millionaire or a billionaire to a person who is middle class and average for the rest of their lives, for the rest of eternity. It could be the difference between an individual that creates a legacy that's long start, like outstanding, long standing, eternal. Respected to a person who's just completely average and forgotten time. Like everyone likes to think about Nikola Tesla and how he died poor and Edison died rich. Well, they both died. We can't really do anything about that. Second of all, Nikola Tesla at the time they don't care about the politics of science. Humans are humans, regardless of what endeavor you choose. They will steal your credit, they will steal your work. They will take your work, put for themselves. I read the book The Four Lords of Power. The people that, you know, it's quite an interesting, manipulative, childish book at times, I admit the truth. But it, it creates interesting paradigms that maybe you really think for a moment. You know, Edison's protégés, they offered Nikola Tesla an uh, Edison Award, and Edison was bitter and old and angry and poor and, th and refused the reward saying things like your entire establishment and company was built on the suffering of my labor quite a powerful quote I like that but yeah it's true it was built on his labor but Nikola Tesla did not care about politics and science he just cared about making the best product science product and in that day and age and potentially in this day and age as well it's not rewarded enough you have to Go out there and take your credit, take what's due to you. Like, it's not, even, it's not scummy, it's your shit. And no matter how much modern day geniuses like Elon come along and they, they, they name their companies Tesla, he's dead. They pay their respects, they make a statue, he's dead. I feel very wrong with me. Millions of others. These birthday parties, like, they're, having, they're having a massive amount of fun. I don't know if you can hear that, it's crazy. If Nikola Tesla at that time where he decided, yeah, I'm not really going to get into politics, start with science, yeah, whatever. Ignoring the fact that human greed is still a very, very valuable, how do I say this, not necessarily asset, but a very, very valuable, um, how do I say this, um, a factor to think about. Ignoring the fact that it, that exists and just focusing purely on science is quite honestly stupid. Like he fixed Edison's primitive designs, measly paycheck, they just got fucking delayed, delayed, delayed. Barry felt like it was worth it. Got pimped out. Nikola Tesla got pimped out. And he didn't care about it. At the time, it was a wrong decision. The decisions, decision making, is probably one of the most powerful things you could do as a young man. And I'll admit the truth the decisions I made so far are not powerful at all. They're not the best decisions, they're not good decisions. And I regret a lot of them. But more so, I regret not trying to take action now because now is the only time it truly matters. Tomorrow is not even guaranteed. The past is merely the past is merely a fragment. It wouldn't be a weird thing to say that the past does barely existed. 
we don't give a fuck, do we? What happened ten years ago? Nobody really gives a fuck. With my current trajectory, my current path, my current wants in life, like, like I want to be rich, I want to be successful, I want to be powerful, I want to be in the by best possible shape, good at boxing, etc. So I want to be all these things, bro. It, it will be my fault if I'm not. I got knocked down in sparring the other day because I was so tired. I literally could not punch. I had to like try to regain some stamina. Like if I'm getting knocked down for the 10 second count, humiliated, felt humiliating. I was sick and I was fucking tired as shit. I really trained and I was already sparring and I was thinking to myself like I could feel the respect that was being lost from a lot of people. And I was thinking to myself like, yeah, this is my fault. I'm going on the trajectory of a journey in my box and this frustrated me. I don't want anyone in a shitty position to frustrate them as well and not escape into the fucking void of video games, man. I have two accounts of Warframe. One is Mastery Rank 18. There's a uh, thing. 33 Mastery Ranks. After Master Rank 30, you go from Legendary Rank 1, Legendary Rank 2, and Legendary Rank 3. There's currently no Legendary Rank 4. There's not enough items in the game in order to get Legendary Rank 4. To get Legendary Rank 30, you mostly have to max out and level up every single item to level 1 to 30. Which is not as simple as it seems. There's a lot of Sanctuary Onslaught, there's a lot of pain and suffering. And I have two accounts. One is Master Rank 17, one is Master Rank 18. You can roughly guess that I'm in mid game or nearly uh, early late game in this sense. I've already unlocked Steel Path. My PC account, I've completed most of Steel Path. On my, my PS4 account, I have not completed Steel Path. Necromech have it. Good weapons have it. No tenant I weapons. Don't care about it enough, but I'll probably have to get it soon. Which I'm, which I'm literally not going to get, by the way, because it's not within my goals. I don't give a fuck anymore. Uh, ribbons, have it. I have a lot of ribbons on my PC account, also on my PC it was a brokey account. Got had a bunch of credits at one time. At one time, I even stacked up over 200 million credits. Spent them on mods, nice. Prime mods, have it. Galvanized mods, have it. Endo problem, but I can just grind. I was grinding yesterday for Endo as a stream, and it was fucking shitty. I didn't like it at all. It was boring. The game didn't feel as stimulating or as fulfilling as rewarding as it used to, I hopped on Apex, Apex was stimulating but not rewarding and so I hopped off Apex and I played a bit yesterday as well and so the day before I played Warframe, yesterday, which is because it's currently 2am, I played um, Apex, you can check my channel, Ascend Uru, Ascend and then Uru, that's it, U W U S N A S. C E N D U W U U W U U U get get it no it's not triple not quadruple U you get channel guys and why am I turning this fuck man this shit's annoying. All that escapism, all that time wasted. I have 500 hours on plus Warframe from someone on PS5 who checked my account. I have over a thousand hours on Apex, or roughly a thousand five hundred hours in total on those two games alone. Let alone other games I played, possibly around two thousand hours in total on PS4. There is eight thousand hours in a year. Extrapolate. I should. I spent one fourth of an entire year, one quarter of an entire year, hooked on video games. Time I'll never get back. I wish I could have back. 
the time gone, regardless. 8,000 hours and you cut that in half because you have to sleep, right? You have to eat, maybe even more than a half, more than, a, more than a half. Eat, sleep, school, things, chores, whatever, whatever menial task there is that takes time. 4,000 hours gone, 5,000, 6,000 hours gone, perhaps 2,000, remaining 2,000 hours spent in video games. I was just spread out, this and that, but like, come on, an hour a day, it piles up. That's insane. That's escapism. And I had a comment before, like, oh, you should, it's okay having these positive escapes sometimes. It's like, shut up. I was there. I was there. Playing the video games, escaping, escaping, escaping. It's fucking horrible, man. You end up like LTG. You end up like a loser. But yes, video games sometimes is fine. But who does sometimes? Who knows moderation in this modern day and age? No one. Everyone likes to argue, yeah, moderation, moderation, moderation. The majority of young men, young women these days have no moderation. Have no idea. That's not one hour a day. That's half an hour a day, 45 minutes a day. That's it. What well, does he like too little? Uh, well, an hour is nothing in video game sense. But it takes like 15 minutes to load into a game. You're, talk you're talking shit to your boys the entire time in those 15 minutes. Your boys, the boys. I can barely remember the time I played, spent playing video games with my friends. It's all vapious, it's all non existent, it's all bullshit. It's all a lie. And I fell for it. I fell for the lie. I said, yeah, I'm going to be a streamer. I'm going to be a streamer. I don't even want to be a streamer. I voice publicly what I want to be. I'd rather be a self improvement person. I want to be an entrepreneur. Working on my business, selling real products for real money. And then spreading my information out on the internet. Or more money. I, I would like to be one of them self help financial type guys. This is what I would like to be. And after that, I can be on my. My tech entrepreneur type thing, like a Brian Johnson, for example, like Elon Musk, those are the type of interviews I would like to be. Not the video game streamer. No. 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 Never escape. My point was to never escape. Always face away how difficult it is. No matter how young you are, you'd be fucking 14 listening to me. Never escape. That decision to put down the controller. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay for another hour. To open up your laptop or your school book, whatever, finish all the work, whatever. Tell the teacher, yeah, I finished all the work and have some more. That simple decision to do that. Small tasks. Bing bing bing. Bing bing. They extrapolate. They snowball. Before you know it, you're successful. Now you have time because you finish your school work, you finish your work, your tutorials, whatever, whatever. Maybe get pocket change because that's a form of income because you're fucking poor and broke and you're a teenager or some shit. And you're saving that up for potential business. You can start reading books, you're investing in yourself, information, you're exercising, you're getting into good shape, you've got a six pack. You are setting yourself up for the future like nobody can tell you. Not everyone else is distracted, mindlessly scrolling, begging for likes. Platform that I barely give a fuck about them, they just want to steal their time and attention. Instagram, YouTube, social media, all these type of shit. And I love YouTube by the way because you can post on it, but the fact that YouTube can be very, very manipulative and the algorithm can work in ways in order to reel you in is very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. When everyone else is distracted playing video games, leveling up in the game, they're watching porn, they're lowering, they're increasing their estrogen, their blood, doing all these horrible, horrible habits. While they do that, you sit down, put your head down to the fucking grindstone, and you work. And you will be successful, because it will correlate, it will compound. The compound effect by Darren Hardy, right? 
I haven't done that yet though, but it's quite a stuff of times for the time for name. Use use something consistently for about the next ten years, you will become successful in that in that field. You will know all the nuances, all the in and outs. You have everything on your hand. But what is the realistic stopping you? Sorry for making a forty five minute video like this. Quite a deep topic for me. I want to sleep and I want to wake up and go to work immediately. Probably this. 8 hours sleep, 10 a.m. wake up. I'll probably sleep at 2 p.m., which is not what I want to think. So. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 10 a.m. today. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 11 a.m. Hey Siri, set three alarms, 11.30, 10.30 and 12.30 a.m. Yeah. Hey Siri, did you set up my 10.30 a.m.? Hey Siri, did you set up my 10.30 a.m.? I couldn't find the alarm you asked me for. Useless. Okay, you're not useless actually. Hey Siri. Can you set my 10.30 a.m. alarm? Yeah. I have one thing that I left to say to you guys. It's not a sneak thing, I'm not a you related. If you live mediocre, you die mediocre. Uh, you guys put that is, is, is he said the channel on the banner and ain't me? me. Comment, it's fucking. 3 a.m. in the hole. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to me. I had to record a little bit of what I was thinking. <sighs> show you guys my thought process. And I want to show you guys in the next five years of my life, I will become wildly, wildly successful. I'll be 20, 23, 20, 23, 24, 25, multi millionaire. Period. And I'll show you guys, like, it's not overnight success. Overnight success takes two to three years. Overnight success takes two to three years of grinding. I want to, with these videos of, yeah, I'm in the fucking trenches, mentally. Perhaps not physically. Bro, my room's nice. I'll, I'll admit the truth, like, my room's nice. Like, I can, I can fucking see my room. See me. It looks horrible. It looks like horrible. What, what, what's gonna happen? What's he gonna die? Oh, no. What else did you would like me to do? Pause. Why is that guy so negative? I don't understand. Like he works with exhausted people that negative. It's crazy. No, the light's too much in the camera. There you go. Boom. My room's nice, like it's organized. My chair's in the trenches. Fucking the leather's melting on my body heat, it's crazy. I've got many monitors, cables, whatever desire thing of the I don't have a gaming PC, but I have the PS4 set up with a monitor, everything, everything's with like gamer, oh, okay, yeah, gamer. But I find myself playing less video games, I find myself enjoying it less. It's all dangerous, all video games is dangerous. And as someone else lives that life that I want, I don't live it. As I sink deeper, deeper in the hole of video games, no type of thing. I don't live the life I want to live. And as my goals mount up, and I have this work to do and that work to do, and I slowly, slowly, surely shave away at it. Someone else is living the life that I want. By next week, I'm gonna make an update video. I'll tell you if I fail or not. But like all my current to-do lists on my my to do t tasks, all my, all my tasks on my to do list, I will complete them by next week. All the editing, all the posting, all the grinding, all the website, all this shit, I will complete by next week. And today is currently 2 18 a.m., the 29th. Hello? Sunday, the 28th of May, 2023.
but it'll be next month. But that's actually seven days, right? If I can do the math in my brain, like one day's left, three days, so it'll be the fourth of June next month. Right, I I want to you, I did not memorize my month on my head, so I'll have to say January, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, yeah, in June, June, June. Oh, it's so only 40 something days until my advent of my birthday. What is there? I'll catch you guys in the next video. Live, medi live mediocre, die mediocre. LTG is a perfect example. John Zucker is a perfect example. All these individuals are perfect examples. Hope you guys watching me like never end up like that. Oh, like sit a moment. Like if you're hateful watching my video, yeah, hate me all you want. You're watching my video for the next for the last fifty minutes. You're helping my channel grow, etc., etc. But more than that, I think you should just anyone that's hateful on the internet, one of the spurs on the internet, I fucking put hate comments and shit. Like more than that, don't do that shit because it's a waste of your time. The waste your mental capacity. You use that energy and channel it to try to fix, fix your fucking life. Because chances are, if you're one of the individuals that are sending hate comments and making hate videos, hit list videos on fucking YouTube to people, like, you will never, you will never see you that type of thing. You are by chance a fucking loser, like I was, and I completely not to relate. But I don't want you guys watching my channel to be losers because. We all know in this channel, I say all the time, live mediocre, die mediocre. By doing the, these mediocre actions, you can only expect to live mediocre and die mediocre. It's like, it's like, it's, like, it's nothing new to say, but it is quite powerful. I don't want this video to drag out for an hour, but it is going to drag out for an hour. That's kind of fuck. sorry guys. But, it's, uh, it's, it's too much, like, all this shit's too much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Give me up with that video. Peace.